Okay, let's talk about subagents in Cloud Good. With this, Entropic is trying to solve two of the biggest challenges that any agentic system has, context management and tool selection. So in this video, we're going to see what these subagents are, how they work, when you can use them and when not to use them. And later on, I'll show you a practical example of how you can include them in your own workflows. Think of subagents as specialized instances of Cloud Code that your main orchestrator can use on demand. To understand this further, let's look at this flow diagram. So here is your main orchestrator or the main cloud code instance that you are interacting with. Now, each of the subagent that you define is going to have its own context window, which is going to be separate from the context window of your main cloud code instance or the orchestrator. Each of them are going to have a custom system prompt that is going to control the behavior of your subagent. Then in order to perform specific operations, each subagent is going to have a specific set of tools. For example, your code reviewer is going to have separate tools than your front end designer. And each of these are going to perform specialized tasks. But when an operation or a task is performed, the subagent only returns the final results to your orchestrator. And this way, you are able to keep the main context window really clean without any extra information. So it's all about the management of context window. And there are different approaches. So for example, some companies say don't build multi-agent system. Anthropic actually is building multiple multi-agent systems. So what exactly are the benefits of using sub-agents in this multi-agent system? So the most important is context preservation. As I said, it is separate from the main context window, but it also gives you flexible permissions. Now, in general, if you provide a state-of-the-art model with a large number of tools, it's going to struggle in tool selection. But if you create these sub-agents with very specific tools, there's a higher probability that the tool selection is going to be much better. And this also separates expertise, but one added benefit is reuse reusability. You can reuse these agents both at the project level as well as at a global system level. And here's how it's done. So you have the ability to define project level subagents or overall system level subagents, and then you can use them in all your projects. Now, in order to define an agent or subagent, you need to create a markdown file. But the good news is that Cloud Code will actually help you create this, and I'll show you how to get started later in the video. Each of this markdown is going to have name of the subagent, its purpose, then the set of tools and a system prompt. So here is an example of a cloud code instance that has multiple subagents. So for example, you have a data science agent. So you need to provide description, what the different tools are and what type of operation is going to perform. Then you could have a debugger agent, again, with very specialized set of tools and specific set of instructions. And here is an example of a code reviewer. Now, in order to create a subagent, you're going to use slash agents command. In here, either you can use project level or user level subagent. And Cloud Code will help you create the description, access to the tools, but you can also do this manually as well. Now, how do you use them? You can either explicitly invoke a specific subagent during the conversation with Cloud Code or Cloud Code can automatically detect an agent based on its description and the task it had. And then when it's performed an operation, it will simply return the results that is going to be passed on to the main orchestrator. Now with these subagents, you can create very complex orchestration systems. These can be sequentially chained or you can also run them in parallel, right? So you can come up with very complex workflows. I'll cover some of these in later videos. Now let's look at how it works within Cloud Code. So I have an instance of Cloud Code up and running. You might have to update it, but if you type slash agents, you're going to see this new command. When you enter, you can either create a new agent. If you have any existing agents that are going to be listed in here, there is always this built-in general purpose agent, which is I think the main orchestrator. Now before creating a new agent, let me show you an example that I already created. Within 
your project or at user level, depending on where you created the agent, you're going to see this dot cloud folder. And within the folder, you're going to see agents folder. For every agent that you create, you're going to see a markdown file. So here is an example of a code quality auditor. That's an agent that I created. So you are going to either provide a description for this, or you can use uh, Cloud Code to help you this. So the description is, I use this agent when you need a thorough, uncompromising review of code changes, particularly focusing on backward compatibility issues, unnecessary modifications, and functional consistencies. Now, this is going to automatically add a few short examples. And this is the type of agent that I always wanted to create. So if you look at the system prompt, it's you're a senior software engineering expert with decades of experience in enterprise systems, API designs, and maintaining large scale code bases. You have zero tolerance for sloppy code, unnecessary changes and backward compatibility breaks. Your reviews are known for being brutally honest, technically precise and uncompromising in maintaining code quality. And I wanted to replicate the behavior of a senior engineer who is going to do code review. Uh, at the end, we remind it, your job is not to be liked, but to prevent bad code from entering the code base. Every unnecessary change is technical debt. Every breaking change is a future bug. Every duplicate feature is wasted effort. Be the guardian of the code quality that every team needs to, but few appreciate, right? So that's the description of my fun agent. But let me show you how do you create a new agent. So let's say we go to create new agent. We're going to click enter. Then either you can create it at a user level or at project level. So let's say we do it project level. You can generate with cloud code, which is a really neat feature. Now you have to provide a description of what this agent is supposed to be doing. You can always modify this within that markdown file that I showed you. Now, in order to provide description, I'm going to use my speech to text transcription app that I'm building. Okay, so this agent is going to write unit tests for every change that the main agent makes. Okay, so this is a very quick description. Let's send this. Okay, and then you get a list of all the tools that you can assign. Now, since it's uh, going to do uh, unit tests, so we don't need actually the MCP server, so we can re remove that. I'm going to allow all of the other ones. So let's go back, continue. Now you can also assign a color to each sub agent. So let's assign this one green color. The other one is a red color. So here you get the name of your sub agent, then the tools that are going to be available then a quick description. So this is the description that the main instances of cloud code is going to use to select the sub agent and then the system prompt. So let's say we are okay with this. And now we can go back here and here is our unit test sub agent. So here's the prompt, your expert test engineer specializing in writing comprehensive unit tests, right? And then the description along with a few examples that cloud code created for this. Now, I'm already working within a cloud code instance that I have been running. So let's say we say write unit tests to test the current functionality. All right. Okay. So let's send this. And now you can see that it decided to use the unit test writer agent. And when it's using that, you will also see the color changes, which is pretty neat. It ran for almost nine minutes, generating close to 56,000 tokens. Now, since everything is happening within the context window of this sub agent, it will only pass on their final results. So we'll still have a very clean context window for the main orchestrator. In this case, I think our main cloud code instance has to run these unit tests. I can modify the system prompt of the sub agent to actually execute those unit tests and then thus simply return us the results. The beauty of this approach is that you can generate specialized subagents for different tasks. So here is one example of somebody creating these subagents. Now, keep in mind, you don't want to overdo this because you're going to be burning through a lot of tokens, for which I'll highly recommend the Max Plan from Anthropic. That's the one that I'm currently using. Although today, Anthropic announced that they're going to be rolling out new weekly rate limits for Cloud Pro and Max Plan in late August, but this is supposed to apply to only 5% of the subscribers based on the current usage. 
I'll highly recommend to check out subagents from Anthropic within Cloud Code. And let me know what you are able to create with these. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.